Samsung is set to introduce its One UI 7.0 beta version soon. Ahead of the likely debut of One UI 7 this week, Samsung's new clock app has surfaced, showcasing the company's updated design language. The app update features a redesigned UI for various parts of the clock app, but overall, it remains quite similar. The changes include a bit more contrast and icons added to the bottom bar. The more significant changes are visible on the home screen. Samsung's new icon design for One UI 7, which has been seen in previous leaks, is evident in this app update. The clock icon now has a larger clock face and a colored hour hand, fitting in with Samsung's new textured look. Additionally, all widgets have been revamped with larger shapes and completely opaque backgrounds. The analog clock widget now includes ticks for the hours and minutes, while the world clock widget is now a single dual-colored block instead of two split shapes that can be resized together. This aligns with previous leaks showing Samsung's emphasis on rounded UI elements in One UI 7. This early app update suggests that Samsung's version of Apple's Dynamic Island doesn't rely solely on the app itself. Leaks of One UI 7 have shown the clock app utilizing this new UI, but doesn't function on One UI 6, instead displaying a redesigned picture-in-picture -picture menu seen to the right of the app icon. Samsung was expected to release the Android 15-based One UI 7.0 beta update yesterday, but it seems there's a delay. We might need to wait a few more weeks for the new version of One UI. The beta update is now anticipated to be released in the third week of August 2024. The delay is reportedly due to the upcoming One UI 6.11 update, which is set to roll out to older foldable phones, tablets, and some high-end phones. One UI 7.0 is a significant update, introducing major UI design and UX changes compared to One UI 6.0. The One UI 7.0 beta will initially be available for the Galaxy S24, Galaxy S24 Plus, and Galaxy S24 Ultra, likely starting in South Korea. It will also be released in Germany, India, the UK, and the USA, with China possibly getting access a few days later. 